Great Ocean Road, which winds its way along the southern coast of Victoria, is nothing short of remarkable. A 254 kilometre drive that links together an extraordinary array of destinations and experiences. The coastal sections of the route have long been a mecca for summer holiday makers and serious surfers. But the hinterland's fast becoming popular as well. It's an ecological oasis up here in the Otways, a world of tumbling waterfalls and ancient forests. A temperate paradise 150 million years in the making. Lake Elizabeth, near the township of Forest, is hands down one of the best places in Australia to see platypus, a notoriously secretive animal rarely seen in the wild. They like to be around the edges of the lake and uh, like to keep a fairly low profile. Your best chance of seeing one is either at dawn or dusk when they're out of their burrows looking for food. Another absolutely iconic Australian animal that's made a long-term home for itself here in the Otways is the koala. Their diet is almost exclusively eucalyptus leaves and their way of life well, let's just say, pretty relaxed. One of the best places to see koalas here is at the Cape Otway Centre for Conservation, which doubles as a shelter for injured and orphaned wildlife. We feel we really owe a duty of care to the, the wildlife of our area, and it's, uh, um, looking after individuals is, is the first step. You can't look after ecosystems if you turn your backs on individuals. Now, not all of the creatures you'll encounter here prefer the wild. Some, like these eastern grey kangaroos at Anglesey, have chosen to live in the heart of suburbia. But by and large, if you enjoy wildlife, you may want to consider taking a walk on the wild side, the 91 kilometre Great Ocean Walk. Oh, look, I can almost guarantee that you'll see koalas, wallabies, kangaroos, echidnas, and where surf meets turf. You're also likely to see uh, seals and dolphins. And if you're really lucky at the right time of the year, you'll, you'll spot the whales migrating up and down the coast. Bird watchers won't be disappointed either, with several crowded wetlands along the way. There are plenty of places to spot gangangs, hooded plovers and black cockatoos. And where the rivers meet the sea, flocks of sooty terns. While the Great Ocean Walk allows you to access a whole lot of little-known coastal locations, it also takes in a few famous landmarks as well, like the Shipwreck Coast and the Twelve Apostles, one of the most famous natural wonders on Earth, which you'll view from a walker's only vantage point. So dramatic. It's brilliant, isn't it? I think that's what people get out of it, is that, uh, that sense of isolation and uh, the fact that they don't have to share it with thousands of tourists. Yeah, it's certainly a great place to be at peace with yourself if you've got it to yourself. From one end of the Great Ocean Road to the other, you'll be tripping over wildlife, but few encounters rival the chance sighting of a whale. At the western end of the Great Ocean Road, you'll find Logan's Beach, a special place where the southern rights come to carve. You can catch the action from this specially built boardwalk or brave the waves for the ultimate ringside seat. Just being up so close to a creature that's so powerful is um, quite exciting. <laughs> it's fantastic, fabulous, isn't it? Isn't Those it? guys must be having such a great time out there. A whale of a time, dare I say it. <laughs> oh, that's and, fantastic. And towards the end of the season, the calves will actually approach them and come up and check them out, just like they're part of the system here. The Great Ocean Road is truly a safe haven for wildlife and each chance encounter will leave you in awe, marvelling at the beauty and the richness of life.